again, town fans are back on the road for our longest away trip of the season for the second time in only a few weeks. A big thank you to Plasmore for making this trip possible. On the coach, town fans had a special chance of winning two special football cards, which would have won £150. One to Adrian Hamill, who, who won the special prize. Yay! Right, I've just arrived at services, probably going to get a drink in the toilet. Um, what are your hopes for today's game then? Uh, I hope we get a win. What's the score prediction then? I think 2 1. Town. Speaking of drinks, I found some milkshake from McDonald's, but sadly they ran out, so I had to go for a tasty feeling Coke. Medium will do. In the services, I met some Orient fans to see what their thoughts on today's game. Yeah, so some Orient fans. You're going down the Hartlepool today. Oh. What, what's, your, what's your score prediction for today's game? Oh, uh, Hartlepool, I think we're going to, hopefully we're going to smash them 3-1. What's your score prediction for It's always 2-0 for Mum. I'm on a 1-0 today. Cheeky win. Cheeky win. Now, how are you at town again today about another long trip? What's your score for yeah, that game? <laughs> oh, uh, let's hope that you... Uh, Let's hope that you smashed over, but hopefully not too much because we don't want you catching us up at the top of the league. Um, so hopefully I reckon 2-0 to Harrogate. No, 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 what team? Oh, Harrogate. Oh, Harrogate are playing over. Oh, well, you've got to be done. Be careful going up the hill. What about the hill? Quite a lot. What's your score? Let, let's do the same. Let's go for a one nil Harrogate. Good luck, guys. Good luck today. Well. Yeah. Yeah. See, you, see you on Good Friday. See you, yeah. see you on Good Friday. Up the O's. A massive thank you to the Orient fans we met. They were really nice and are looking forward to the game at Easter. Fair play to Orient, man. Like they've got a lot of coach going to away games. Hey, win today. Go on, Orient. Beat Hartlepool. But anyway, let's move on to the Harrogate Town game and our opponents, Dover Athletic. Shall we get some facts? Name Dover Athletic. Founded in 1983. Ground, Crabble Athletic, which holds 5,754. Dover sit 19th in the National League, with 33 points, scoring 32 and conceding 39. Anyway, let's get back on the road, and before you know it, we're in London. Hopefully Harrogate Town can pick up 3 points today after their disappointing defeat to stop Port Carrying in the FA Trophy, losing 4-2. Now, here is a shot of some of the cars in front of us while I try and peek over someone's shoulder. And before you know it, we're in Dover! Just in time to welcome some of the Harrogate Town players and staff off the coach. More than you will know. Whoa! Call Ryan. Ryan. Call Ryan. 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 Ryan Fallowfield. Na 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 na. Ryan Fallowfield. The Harrogate Town birthday boys and the only referee to send off Peter Wheeler in a match. What's your score prediction for today's game? Three one town. What's your score? Three one. Easy. Come on town. Get on there town. Get in town. And we're in. Welcome to Dover Athletic. As I walk around Dover's ground, here is a shot of the Harrogate Town players warming up. <laughs> the Harrogate Town players warm up, some of the fans joining. Next! Woo! Oh, yeah. Come on! Speaking of the Harrogate Town players, here's the starting 11 today. In goal, wearing number one, James Belshaw. Number two, Ryan Follerfield. Number three, Jack Senior. Number four, Josh Falkenham. Number six, Warren Burrell. Number seven, George Thompson. Number eight, Jack Emmett. Number nine, Mark Beck. Number 17, Lloyd Kerry. Number 18, Jack Muldoon. Number 20, Liam Kitchen. On the bench today, number 13, Joe Cracknell. Number five, Callum Howe. Number 16, Aaron Williams. Number 21, Michael Woods. And number 22, Motley Henry. Come on, town. With the warm-ups done, the Harrogate Town players go in and get ready for kickoff. And before you know it, the players are walking out and ready to go. Let's hope that the 273 mile long trip to Dover is awarded with three points. Who's ready for some football in this video? Because we have kickoff. Come on, town. Now, seconds into the game, and Jack Emmett is away trying to put the ball into the box. Now, Harrogate Town have got a free kick, which can be whipped in by George Thompson. Oh, 
Now, six minutes in, and Jack Muldoon plays a really, really good ball across to Ryan Follerfield. Ryan Follerfield's going to run with it and going to play Jack Emmett in behind. Jack Emmett's going to put the ball across. Today. Yes! Yes! to start for Harrogate Town. Great ball in by Jack Emmett, which is claimed by Mark Beck at the, in the front post, who puts it into the back in there. I'm not sure if Mark Beck scores it, but for the sake of this video, Mark Beck puts Harrogate Town into lead. And we have kickoff. If you don't, you don't start messing about with that game, if you think it needs, then you're going to Now Dover come put the ball into the box. It was, it was yeah. Here are some of the Harrogate Town fans sharing the boys on today. Dover got a goal kick, now you see it, now you don't. Dover have a corner and they put it into the box. I was quite pleased. George Thompson is standing over a free kick and looking to put it in the box. Now David have a free kick at the other end. Now Ryan Fallowfield picks the ball out wide from George Thompson and looks to play with the ball in behind. Ryan Fallowfield puts the ball into the box. It's a great ball. And as Belgium takes the goal kick, that's half time. Um, now, speaking of half time, I found myself in a queue for the Dover Tea Hut. And here is the menu for the hut. Coke will do me. I got the Coke ready for the second half. Speaking of the second half, here come the players. In the second half, Ryan Follower picks up the ball and puts the ball across to Josh Falkenham. Now Ryan Follower picks up the ball and plays the ball into Josh uh, to George Thompson. He puts it across the goal. George Thompson picks the ball up and puts another ball into the box. Here is some more transfer from the Harrogate Town fans I made a trip today. And another goal kick for Dover. Now Dover got a free kick and put it into the box. Harry get time with the second substitution of the day as Lloyd Carey comes off and Motley Henry. Dover put another ball into the box. As I turn my camera on, Dover Athletic equalise and make it 1 1 against Harrogate Town. We have kickoff. Dover put another ball into the box. And just like that, in the space of five minutes, Dover Athletic lead Harrogate Town 2 1. We have kickoff! <laughs> now, Harrogate Town have got a free kick. George Tom's going to put the ball into the box. Aaron Williams in behind. I'm going to put the ball across. had puts the ball across to Mark Beck and Harrogate Town make it 2 2. It's a time for Harrogate Town to get a winner. Don't put the ball into the box again. Winners! Oh, Winners! Get it out now a long ball is going to be picked up by George Thompson to go take it down. George Thompson's going to turn. Hey, I 
don't believe what I'm seeing. In the 92nd minute, Harrogate Town have just scored to make it 3-2 and surely secure the three points to take home back to Harrogate. Get in, Tomo! Awesome. I go to a lot of football games in my life, but that's the craziest game I've been to. Harrogate Town 3, Dover 2, get in, Tomo! Don't pull the ball into the box for surely the final chance. It's cleared. Yes! yes! Come on! <laughs> I don't think I've been to a game like that ever before in my life. The craziest 10 minutes of football I've ever seen. And here are some of the Harrogate Town players clapping the fans. Get in! Come on! Tomo. Yes! Hold on, man. Yes, Aaron! Yes! Hold on. Becky, again. Full time, game's over. Harry get Town have won. I don't think I've seen a game like that. Harry get Town going 1 0 up. There's 15 minutes left. David going 2 1 up. And then, with like five minutes left, Mark Beck getting the goal, and then Thompson with an absolute worldie. Can't believe this. Harrogate Town pick up three points. Get in, come on, town! I caught up with Harrogate Town from Paul Mitchell to see his thoughts on the game as well. I'm here, but I've got Mitchell's minutes. What was your thought on today's game? My thoughts were well, first, it's uh, been a terrific game to watch. We've seen five goals. Um, secondly, we've seen a Harrogate Town victory. Um, have to say, when we were 2 1 down with about 10 minutes to go, it was looking difficult. I think Simon said in his interview that fair enough when we went 2 1 down, Dover when they were in the ascendancy, but then we scored uh, two really good goals. Um, uh, Williams ran onto an excellent ball and then crossed for Beck to do um, his stuff in the six yard box. And then, of course, we had a bullet from George Thompson, which, was, which was brilliant. Uh, the goalkeeper, I think, was just beaten by the sheer power yeah. of that. I remember the movement of it as well. Yeah, Quite it moved. swerved a bit, but it was sort of on him before he yeah. knew it, and he could only push it into the corner of the net. And so we're absolutely delighted. We've come all the way down here to Dover, um, and we're going back to three points. We're back in the playoff places. Yeah. And so long may it continue, and I think we can stay there. Don't you? On, yeah, same. Who was on man the match today, do you think? Well, I have to say, although Beck got two goals and Thompson scored a, a belter, uh, someone we haven't mentioned yet, James Belshaw, yeah. because he, he made three or four excellent saves second half, even though we conceded two. The two goals we conceded weren't his fault. Um, and, and actually, we could have conceded three or four or maybe even more without Belly in goal. He's a terrific goalie, so he would be my personal man of the match. Thank you, Paul. No problem. After all the travelling, we arrived back at Harrogate Town, and this is where I'm going to end my video today. What a crazy game for all we saw. If you want to book on Chesterfield, then message Jordan Ford. Sadly, the earlier coach is fully booked, but there's plenty of space on the, late, on the later coach. If you enjoyed the video, to give a drop a like on it, subscribe to my channel, and share the video to any of your friends. Chief Brody, over and out. One club, one dream, the Football League.